So the title has been with it since the beginning. I actually was writing something completely different. And then I went to a wedding with a group of friends who I used to go on those holidays with. I was very di different at the time, like fake hair extensions, fake eyelashes covered in fake tan. Um, and we, we kind of had this reunion at a wedding actually in Ibiza. And um, we started talking about memories that had from those holidays. And I realized we saw the blowjob scene in Magaluf and I realised that it had like a huge impact on my perception of sex and understanding of it. And so yeah, it's kind of just like started writing and it really like came out all at once. And uh, the title has been there since the beginning because it, I, straight away I was like, that's how we learned how to have sex and we did it wrong. <laughs> I think we had even less of an answer before and I think um, we we wanted to end it with like a tiny bit of hope but not not that like she's never gonna you know a that she's never gonna get over this and because that's not how it works and that's not how we as women often we're picking ourselves up and carrying on um, but also we didn't want it to be like and now she's good <laughs> like so it was a tricky ending to find the balance of it um, and I think before there was even less resolve in the script writing. Yeah, it was really hard to be honest. Um, like we shot the first, we shot out of season in Malia. So we, we brought all the extras, they were all cast. Um, and they had to look British as well. So it was like a tricky balance of um, finding people. The extras casting team did an amazing job. They were going out to like party scenes and bringing like real parties and bringing them in. So they weren't trained extras at all, you know, like um, we shot all the party scenes in the first two weeks um, because we knew everyone would leave the island. So like second day directing 200 people, <laughs> third day directing 300 people. And like I guess I hadn't really thought about what that does to a set, like the noise level and the how to control that situation and get a performance out of your lead actress while there's chaos everywhere. So it was definitely really tricky. Um, we had an amazing Greek crew and uh, they, from the beginning, put their like heart and soul into it and decided that they were gonna like fight to the death and, and together we did like, yeah, it was a very magical crew. Yeah, so we tried to, it, I had a week of rehearsals in London where I gave them a DV cam and I got them to write their backstories. And everything that we tried to do was allow them to improvise, allow them that if we were going to improvise, they had the tools to do it. So every drawer was full in the apartment. Like it was never a set, it was like a lived in apartment. And yeah, when we, so I gave them these DV cams and they would like ask each other, what's your chat, chat up line as, a, as your character? Or they would interview each other. So they had this kind of like bank of knowledge on their character. To be honest, most of the final thing is, script, is scripted, but we did lots of improvisation. And sometimes we would run an experiment at the end of a scene where we would be like, okay, let's just do it with no words or let's do it with where you only look at this one person or something. So it was fun. I guess, um, I mean, I think she's a superstar firstly, and it was a big fight to not cast a victim, as we've been told on screen, and how victims are, irre irre like, uh, I don't know, just like sad forever. <laughs> so, um, I wanted someone who was like feisty and funny and uh, loud and bubbly. So it was, it was a big part of the casting process. Um, did I direct her differently? I guess we spent more time with her because everything was sort of rooted in her. So we would like do her close up and then we would see, okay, who is she looking at? Where is she looking kind of thing? So I, d I don't know that we spent different directions, but we, we were definitely crafting that journey more, you know. Yeah, I mean, it was a crazy experience. Like we finished the film on the Friday and we went to Cannes on the Tuesday. We like hand carried the film in that, like, yeah, we delivered it like this is the film. <laughs> um, so no one had seen it really. Um, but what we did was we took 35 of our cast and crew. And so we kind of had this protection bubble where like, I don't know, it's a scary place putting it out into the world. Um, and we were, yeah, we had a bit more of a like 
protection around it. And then to like, I felt so, it felt so special to celebrate the film in that way with all of the crew and, well not all of them, tonight will be all of the crew. Um, um, that I kind of felt like we'd won anyway. And then when we won the award, it just was like the icing on the cake. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.